Meyerhofen in Tirol, Austria is the headquarters of the Aestheticers, which is a snowboard crew who have for over 10 years now invited their friends annually to celebrate their lifestyle. The Wangle Tangle, meanwhile, has become a five-star TTR event, which pulls the best riders from around the world to the van's Pinkin Park to show everything they have in one of the most creative terrain parks there is. Snowfall made it impossible to ride the park on the days before the qualification rounds, but now Mother Nature was in a good mood. During the week of the event, the weather showed us her various moods, from heavy snowfall to bluebird days to a foggy final day. However, the aestheticers, as the organizers of it all, weren't troubled by the weather. Yeah, in these light conditions, the most important thing is safety. Yesterday, they spun 900s and 1080s. This time, we especially hope for clean landings. The most important thing is that the riders stay healthy and everybody is safe, though. Das Wichtigste ist, dass die Fahrer gesund bleiben und dass alles safe abläuft. I worked eight days for this, now we're here in the final. I like it, I'm fine with it. Mir taugt's, shredding is on. Yeah, I feel good. I'm from Scandinavia, so we're used to this weather. <laughs> but I don't know, everybody else seemed to not like it. Hope they will do the contest anyway. <laughs> Despite the unfriendly conditions, the riders pulled out what they had so that the judges got to see it all on the most creative course there is. The most creative rider is what the judges were looking for. Volan Eivelt from the Aesthetica crew was one of them. He invented the last obstacle, the cradle, and was one of the only ones who could handle it. We had a pretty bad view, but it worked out well. Nobody was hurt, and it was a good session. Ten years younger but no less creative was Elias Elhardt from Germany who convinced with his special line down the park, including this funny front flip down the quarter pipe. Yeah, it worked out super good. The last days I was just riding for myself and now I'm super stoked. The whole week, one young gun from Sweden rocked the park the most. We were lucky we still had sunny conditions to have a chat with him. I was wishing myself a snowboard for Christmas, but my parents said I couldn't have one. So I was asking every day to get a snowboard, and then Christmas I got a snowboard and started after that. And his determination paid off here at last, which you see during his super clean 1080 right there. I would really like to go to the U.S. and do a contest there because I think the scene is way, way bigger there and I think that everything happens over there. Luckily, he's still here and shows us tricks like this nice backside five, which he learned at a very special snowboard school in Sweden. But even there, life as a student is hard. They let you like travel for three easily for three weeks, but then they like hope you're doing the homework. But it's really hard to get motivation when you're out traveling to do it. And when you come home, they ask like, hey, "Have you done it?" Yeah, you're getting it next week. And then like you're just going away again. 
Yes, a way to rock the competitions like here with a sweet 50-50 to switch 50-50 on the big rail. Now that's freedom, right? I think you probably feel way more free than you when you're doing like, like if you're a professional football player or something, because then you can't probably do as much as you want. He doesn't really know why it's special to be a professional snowboarder, but he knows how to win a TTR five-star contest, and that's what the people ask for in the end. And with this happy winner, we leave the Wangle Tangle. Oh!